Greetings, greetings viewers and subscribers. So in today's journey, we are now in Brooklyn, in New York. We are going to be traveling along the Flatbush Avenue in Brooklyn. Sit back, relax, and drive with me. Now, the gentleman on the screen, his name is Cleon Watt. He's popularly called Short Boss Catering. Cleon, happy belated birthday to you. Your wife Maria, she had asked us from earlier this week to wish you happy birthday. So don't blame her, blame us. Short Boss, we know that you had a happy birthday yesterday because Maria told us that she'll be taking very good care of you. So here is hoping that you'll live to see lots more. Now, somebody sent this to us. That ID is for a lady named Miss Lorenia Scarlett. If you know this lady, she lost a purse with her documents at an establishment in Sablamar. So if you know her, send us a WhatsApp message to 876 Four five eight nine one one one, and we'll make contact with the person who sent in this information for her to collect her documents. The purse contained her ID and some other documents. Now today, we have a number of news stories for you. But first, look at this video. Right over there, someone. Right. Yes. No, that video, that road that you are looking at. It is a road from Paul Island to Grange Hill in the parish of Westmoreland. The people who traverse that road, they are bawling out for help. They are saying they don't want to be lawless and take things in their own hands by blocking any roads. So they are asking the political representatives to please fix the road. Now, we are learning that a body, the body of a man, was fished from the sea in the vicinity of Tropical Beach in Montego Bay. This was on Wednesday, September 22, 2021, some minutes after 1 p.m. We are told that this body was clad in a floral shirt and a grey shirt. At the time we were recording, we hadn't gotten any information whether or not the body was identified. Neither were we told what is the cause of death, but we are doing some investigation and as soon as we get the information, we are going to be passing it on to you. Now, in the next incident, this one took place at a place named New Haven Heights in the parish of Trelawney. Our information is that a man, his name is Mr. Sean Chung. Now, Mr. Chung, he is from Christiana in the parish of Manchester but he was employed as a gardener at New Haven Heights in Trelawney. The premises that he was employed as a gardener for, the owner for that premises is living abroad in the United States. It is said that Mr. Chung, he has been working at this premises for the past three years as a gardener. Now we are told that Mr. Chung, he was last seen alive. On Friday, September 17th, 2021, he was last seen at a shop in the community of New Haven Heights. Now on Wednesday, September 22, 2021, a gentleman, he's the caretaker for the same property. So he went to the premises to check on what was happening. When he went to the apartment that Mr. Chung stays in, he saw something. He tried to enter the apartment but he was unable to enter it because it was locked from the inside. As a result, he called the police. 
The police came on the scene and they were also unable to access the apartment. The fire department was called in and they were able to access the apartment. When they gained access to the apartment, Mr. Chung, Mr. Sean Chung, he was seen hanging by a piece of card tied to the front grill. He was taken down. Mr. Chung, he had died. But like we always tell you, he had to be pronounced by a medical personnel. So Mr. Chung, he was taken to the Falmouth Hospital where he was pronounced D-E-A-D. -E now, by all indication, it appears as if Mr. Chung, for whatever reason, he took his own three points. We are told that his body was inspected and there was no marks of violence. Mr. Chung, he had locked himself inside of the apartment and it appears as if he used that piece of card, tied it to the grill and then tied it around his neck. The Falmouth police, they are carrying out investigation. If there's an update to this story, later on, we'll be bringing it to you. Now, in the next incident, this one, it took place on Wednesday, September 22, 2021, close to 10 p.m. It took place at Retrieve. Now, Retrieve is in the Cambridge Police area in the parish of St. James. Our information is that a man, his first name is Kevin Tan. It is said that Kevin Tan, he was driving a silver Toyota Voxy along the Retrieve main road. When on reaching a certain section of the road, he heard loud explosions. As a result, he drove straight to his house. On arrival at his house, he realized that he was shot. He had received gunshot wounds to his right thigh and his left leg. The vehicle that he was driving, the Toyota Voxy, there were about four bullet holes in the door. Kevin Tan, he was transported to the Cornwall Regional Hospital where we are told that he had received treatment. Now, if you are here, you are watching this video and know the audio like I tell you yesterday might not be up to scratch because where we are recording, there are a lot of vehicles passing on the road. But I am sure you are able to hear exactly what I am saying. So if you have been watching so far or listening so far, if you have not yet hit on the like button, hit on it now. If you are watching our videos and you have not yet subscribed to the channel, hit on the subscribe button as also hit on the notification bell then click all so that you'll be notified as soon as we have uploaded a new video. Now in yesterday's video, somebody had commented and asked if the death penalty is still legal in Jamaica. Yes, capital punishment, it is still legal in Jamaica. But currently, the only crime punishable by death is aggravated murder. The last person to be executed in Jamaica was a man named Nathan Foster. He was hanged in 1988. There was a judgment in 1993. That Pratt and Morgan case where the Privy Council in England, they had ruled that if somebody is on death row for more than five years, they should not be hung. As a result, the parliament, they had placed a moratorium on the death penalty until 2009. That moratorium, it was lifted. But since then, or since 1988, there have been no executions in Jamaica. Currently, there is no one on death row in Jamaica. So yes, capital punishment is still legal in Jamaica. However, Based on some rulings by the Privy Council, currently there is no one on death row in Jamaica. I'm going to be doing some more research and I'm going to be bringing you a fulsome report on this. So stand by for it. Now, in the final story for today, this one, it took place at Lagood. Lagood is in the Green Island Police area in the parish of Hanover. It took place on Wednesday, September 22, 2021 some minutes after 9 p.m now we are told that a man his name is roshan Hines. he was 29 years old and he lived at campbellton road lagood in the parish of hanover our information is that roshan he was at his house he was speaking with somebody on his cell phone our information 
is that the person who he was speaking to on his cellular phone, they heard loud explosions sounding like gunshot. They tried talking to Roshan and that was it. Nothing was heard from Roshan. As a result, the police were called. On the arrival of the police, Roshan, he was seen lying face down with what appears to be gunshot wounds to his upper body. Roshan, he was transported to the Noel Holmes Hospital in Lucy where he was pronounced D-E-A-D. -E we are told that when this crime scene was processed, six 9mm spent shells were recovered from the scene. So, Roshan, he was inside of his house and whoever it is came to his house and shot him. The mayhem continues. Blessed love, everybody.